Okay, set my sap there. I'm seeing a tree there that might have some more sap. So we're gonna see if we can get to this tree uh, while filming in the snow. It's kind of up some rocks here. Oh, okay. This tree's dead, by the way. It's chopped off. And there's just some dead branches here. So uh, I can tear the bark off this one if I want. It looks like there's some pretty good chunks here, like this one. That just came right out. Look at that. It's uh, pretty saturated in uh, sap, I think. So let's take, let's see if I can get down. I could die in front of this camera. <laughs> okay, we'll go back to where, where I set my other sap. And I'm gonna take this other sap with me. So I've got kind of a multitude of sources. Now we're gonna go around, here's our view. It's a wonderful day out here. Well, if you like snow. So anyway, this is the idea of this video is I'm gonna see if I can start a fire with almost, look at somebody's been here today already. There's footprints in the snow. <laughs> it's interesting. This has been a place I've come to a few times recently. Uh, cleaning up trash, experimenting with fire. Ah, I just dropped one of those things in the snow. There's my fuel. Okay. So I'm gonna set this camera down and uh, Clear off the snow off the rock. Find a place to set the camera. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And then we'll try to now I'm gonna try to have a fire in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get rid of a little of this moisture. So we have a reasonable spot. And I'm going to try, try this one first. So, here we go. Here's, I'm going to set it where hopefully I can get to catch. Not much wind, which is good, because otherwise this would be very difficult. Well, I don't know. There's a fair amount of protection in these rocks here. So, kind of seems like it started. Used a regular Bic lighter. Uh, we'll let that go for a little bit. Check this camera and see if you can see. Yep. Kind of blowing the lighter cool so I can put it back in my pocket. And I'm going to try to find some wood. I know there's some wood buried here in the snow. It's off to the side of the camera. I'm not going to bother lifting the camera, but you can trust me that it is buried in the snow beside me. Just some uh, kind of 
kind of sage stuff, I think. So, there might be a little moisture in it. But I literally just pulled this out of the snow right beside the fire spot here. That's kind of kind of tight there. But we'll see. Maybe. Let's see, there's our fuel. Just kind of banging it to get the snow off. Of course, like my other video that I did, you know, this <clears throat> even though there's snow here, we are in a desert. And uh, so, and this snow mostly came in the last couple days so it's not like this wood is soaked or anything it's actually probably pretty dry inside well so I didn't even need to use my other fuel that I had collected I'm just going to leave it here. I don't know where. I'll set it somewhere in case somebody wants it. But anyway, the fire. See, this video is seven minutes long now. And um, I have a fire. Looks like. Huh. I would say I'm not going to put any more fuel on that because uh, I'm not going to be here too long today. I just, just playing around with the idea of seeing how how bad a weather it can be and still be able to start a fire. <clears throat> and I thought having some new snow would be a good experiment. Um, we got about four or five inches out here in the last 24 hours it's a beautiful spot why don't i show you the peak we'll come back and look at that fire in a sec we'll go up and take a look at the, the bigger view here it's a pretty cool spot there's a pile of rocks there a bunch of manzanita in here it's been logged uh, so there's the view out that way to the south and then over here it's actually a pit for the cinders for the road that's why they log this I guess I don't really know but uh, we're going to come up to a really fabulous spot here. And you can actually drive up here, but you need a four-wheel drive. That's a lava field out there. I don't know if you can tell in the video. But uh, there's a lava butte. is out there somewhere. And all the lava flowed out here. So, Bend is over there. And down beneath me is a cinder pit. And we got this big, huge view 
all around. Okay, well, let's go back to the fire, finish up this video, see how the fire is doing. I assume it's doing fine. I can warm up, set up camp if I wanted to, but I don't want to tonight. I don't have any stuff. fire. Oh, look at that. It's going. Nothing wrong with that fire. It's an actual fire. Very good. Another successful fire.